Hey what's up you guys, it's Judy here with my life as Geek Guy. On this channel I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here please consider subscribing, I would love for you to join the Geek Guy family and if you're returning here to my channel then welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on my go-to everyday glam makeup look. Now this is the makeup look that I just do real quick, real easy, I have a routine for it, I know exactly what look I'm going for. This look might be a bit more appropriate for when I want to go out and not go over the top with my makeup look but still want to wear a little something something you know if you've seen a lot of my makeup tutorials then y'all know that I gravitate towards the really out there the bold colorful eye looks but sometimes the day comes when I don't want to go out wearing bright pink eyeshadow <laughs> so this is the makeup look that I gravitate towards doing I wasn't gonna actually do this video because there are so many makeup tutorials out there with easy natural glam sort of makeup looks but this is the look that I gravitate towards and I know that there are people here in the Geek Eye family that do appreciate more natural looking makeup. Now I know my version of natural might be extra super over the top for some of you who don't like to wear a lot of makeup and that's okay but this is my version of an easy everyday glam makeup look. Now my version of everyday glam does sort of change and evolve throughout the years also depending on the palettes that I'm really enjoying at the time. At the moment I'm really enjoying the Kathleen Lights Dream Street and Colourpop eyeshadow palette. This is also part of my project pan so obviously I'm trying to hit pan on at least one of these shadows but there are lots of shadows in this palette that are very easily utilized to create an easy glam makeup look so that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Before I go any further if you guys do enjoy this video then give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff and you can also follow me on my social media. All my socials are always linked in the description box down below so it's quick and easy for you guys to find me on Instagram if you so wish. Not gonna waffle on too much longer but yeah if you guys want to see my everyday go-to glam makeup look then just keep on watching. Now I know I always generally start with my eyes, but if I'm creating this look, then it generally means that I'm in a rush, in a hurry to get someplace, like I have some place to be, like right now while I'm filming this video. So when I do this makeup look, I always start with my base and then the eyes I can jazz up or tone down as much as my time constraint allows. So I hope that makes sense. I've already primed my face with some glycerin and over the top of that, I'm gonna use some of my Mecca Cosmetica Smoothing Primer. Now going in with my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. The reason why I go in first with my base for this look is that the look doesn't require a whole lot of blending and the shadows that I will be using aren't very dark heavy pigments. So when I blend them in, there isn't a whole lot of fallout that happens, if any at all. So I'm quite comfortable doing my base first before my eyeshadow. Also, like I said before, if I'm rushing to get out the door with a decent-ish makeup look, then if I don't quite finish my makeup look, then at least it's the eyes last that I can cut down on time and at least the rest of my face will be done and covered and I'll have a base on instead of just like a half finished face if I did my eyes first, if, if that makes any sense at all. I should do a busy life hack sort of video. <laughs> now I'm going to contour with my L'Oreal Infallible Shaping Stick. Conceal lightly under the eyes too because I have a few dark rings under there. I've just used my Maybelline Age Rewind. And I'm going to take some of that on the eyelids to prime as well. Before I go in with any powder to set any of that down, I'm going to go in with some of this ColourPop Super Shop Cheek Matte Blush in the shade Stop It. And I want to take some of this cream highlighter. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Highlighter Stick in the shade Gold is Cold. And I'm just going to take some of that on the high points of my face. Now 
now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of powder under the eyes just to set down that concealer and to keep it from creasing. But I'm not gonna go in it too heavy handed with the powder because the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in and of itself is such a good concealer, it doesn't crease a lot. I just wanna give a little bit of reinforcement to it by applying this powder. Right, now to go in with the eyes. They are very, very simple. I'm gonna go into this Dream Street palette and pick up some of this shade Potion on a large fluffy blending brush and apply this liberally all over my eyelid and take it up through my transition as well. I'm really just gonna blend it, fluff it, smoke it, blend it out. Now I'm going to take a smaller tipped fluffy blending brush and go into this darker shade called Elfish and just use this to deepen up the outer corner of my eye. So basically what I'm doing is I'm laying down most of the color on the outer corner of my eye and then as the product dissipates through the brush, I'm just very gently blending it up through my crease as well. And now just casually taking my finger into the shade Sweet Dreams and applying this all over my eyelid. Now taking a flat tipped brush into the shade Kaleidoscope, I'm going to apply that right on the absolute inner corners of my eyes. Sun's streaming in really bright through my window right now. It's so pretty. I'm gonna take that brush again that I used to apply that deep brown on the outer corner with no extra product and I'm just going to blend in the dark color in with that shimmer that I applied on the lid. Now I'm gonna apply some winged eyeliner, nothing too dramatic or crazy. Let's see if I can stay in frame for this. <laughs> Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and go in with the generous helping of mascara. Now for under the eyes, I don't generally do very much. I just take that fluffy blending brush again, dip it into a bit of the shade Potion and a little bit into the shade Elfish and just blend that out under the lower lash line. And that's basically it for the eyes. <laughs> I told you it's a very easy go-to glam look. Now I just want to go in with a little bit of bronzing action. This one is my Maybelline City Bronzer. And for a bit of blush, I'm going to go into this Essence Matte Touch Blush in the shade Peach Me Up. This blush is also in my project pan, so you're going to be seeing a fair bit of this blush here on my channel. <laughs> now the lip that I go for will generally depend on the outfit that I'm planning on wearing, but I don't actually have an outfit planned for this thing that I'm going to this afternoon. In the filming of this video, I'm actually in the process of moving, so I don't even know what I have packed and what I have out left to wear. So I'm just going to go in with a basic nude ish sort of lip. This one is the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner and it is in a darker color because I want to kind of contour my lips to give myself a little bit more of that ombre look. So I'm going to go in with a darker lip liner and then over the top of it I'm going to use the ColourPop Creamy Lipstick in the shade What's Your Sign. I really like this lip liner. This one's a very berry sort of shade. For a bit of highlight, I'm going to go into the Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive. Now I'm wanting a little bit more of an overall subtle glow, so I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and dust this very lightly all over my face.
it was quick, easy, it's very, very simple to do. Three eyeshadow colors, mascara, eyeliner, and for me what I would call a general basic sort of base for my foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush, highlighter, that sort of routine. It's very quick, very easy because most of what I've already done on my face is things that I'm very used to doing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this soft glam makeup look. I know it's very different from what I would normally do here on my channel from the bright, bold, out there makeup looks, but I thought it's about time that I did something that was actually wearable for most people. <laughs> I hope it was easy for you guys to follow along and that it'll be easy for you to recreate this look. You can create this look with any eyeshadow palette you have as long as you have a transition color, a darker crease color, and and then a highlight shimmer on the inner corner of your eye. It's very quick and easy to create this look. Even in the filming of this video, it only took me 45 minutes. If I wasn't filming, I could achieve this full look in half an hour, which for me is very quick <laughs> because getting ready for me generally takes over an hour. Filming, an hour and a half. So in the grand scheme of things, it's a very quick, easy, go-to soft glam look for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, all that good stuff. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are left as Geek Eye. Turn on the bell, guys, because I do upload th videos three times a week. If you haven't yet subscribed, then please do so. It would really help me out so, so very, very much. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! <coughs>